In today's video, we feature Saint Bernard of Clairvaux, a major leader in the reformation of the Benedictine order during the 12th century and the doctor of the church. His feast day is celebrated every August 20th. Bernard was born to Teschelin de Fontaine, Lord of Fontaine les Dijon, and Saint Aleph de Montbard, both members of the highest nobility of Burgundy. The third of seven children, Bernard is also the brother to Saint Gerard of Clairvaux and Saint Humberline de Jully. At age nine, he was sent to a school at Chatillon sur Seine run by the secular canons of Saint Paul's. Bernard had an interest in literature and rhetoric. He had a special devotion to the Virgin Mary, and he later wrote several works about the Queen of Heaven. Bernard emphasized the value of a personally held faith, with the life of Christ as a model and a new emphasis on the Virgin Mary. In opposition to the rational approach to divine understanding used by the scholastics, Bernard preached an immediate faith, in which the intercessor was the Virgin Mary. During his youth, he did not escape trying temptations and around this time he thought of living a life of solitude and prayer. Bernard was only 19 when his mother died. He decided to go to Citeaux. In 1113, he and 30 other young noblemen of Burgundy sought admission into the new monastery. It is said that because of Bernard's life example and passion for his faith, many followed him into the monastic life. Three years later, Bernard was sent with a group of 12 monks to found a new house at Ballet d'Absin, in the Diocese of Langres. The monastery came to be known as Clare Valley or Clairvaux, Valley of Light, on June 25, 1115. Soon after, he became more known as Bernard of Clairvaux. Bernard soin started founding new communities. Trois Fontaine Abbey was founded in the Diocese of Chalons. In 1118, Fontenay Abbey was established in the Diocese of Orton in 1119 and started the formation of Feeney Abbey near Bourbons in 1121. In 1128, Bernard participated in the Council of Troyes. The purpose of this council was to settle certain disputes among the bishops of Paris and regulate other matters of the Church of France. Bernard was made the secretary of the council and charged with drawing up the synodal statutes. It was at this council that Bernard composed a rule for the Knights Templar which became an ideal of Christian nobility. Bernard is also well known for his Marian devotion, especially in using and promoting the Memorare prayer. Bernard's influence was soon felt in provincial affairs. He became widely known throughout Europe and was consulted by popes and political leaders. In 1139, Bernard assisted the Second Council of the Lateran, in which the surviving adherents of the schism were definitively condemned. At about the same time, Bernard was visited at Clairvaux by Irish Saint Malachi, the Archbishop of Armagh, and a very close friendship formed between them. Malachi wanted to become a Cistercian, but the Pope would not give him permission. Malachi died at Clairvaux in 1148. With his popularity, his monastery grew and became overcrowded. This enables him to reach more communities by sending a number of monks into Germany, Sweden, England, Ireland, Portugal, Switzerland, and Italy, including one of his disciples, Bernard of Pisa, who will later become the head of the Catholic Church as Pope Eugene III. After helping end the schism within the Church, Bernard would soon find himself opposite heresy. In June 1145, he traveled and preached in southern France where both the Henrician and the Petrobrusian faiths began to die out by the end of the year. Bernard also preached against Catharism. It was also during this time that news from the Holy Land that Christians had been defeated at the siege of Edessa and most of the land had fallen into the hands of the Seljuk Turks. In 1144, Pope Eugene III asked the help of Bernard to preach and urge the people to join the crusade. On March 31st, he preached to an enormous crowd in a field at Bezalet, making the speech of his life. When Bernard was finished, the crowd enlisted en masse, they supposedly ran out of cloth to make crosses. Bernard is said to have flung off his own robe and began tearing it into strips to make more. However, the last years of Bernard's life were saddened by the failure of the Second Crusade he had preached, bearing the entire responsibility upon himself. 
Bernard considered it his duty to send an apology to the Pope and it is inserted in the second part of his Book of Considerations. There he explains how the sins of the Crusaders were the cause of their misfortune and failures. Bernard of Clairvaux died on August 20, 1153. Throughout his 40 years of monastic life, he helped found 163 monasteries in different parts of Europe. His influence is said to encourage Alexander III to launch reforms that led to the establishment of canon law. Bernard of Clairvaux was canonized less than three decades after his death by Alexander III on January 18, 1174. He is labeled the mellifluous doctor for his eloquence. Cistercians honor him as one of the greatest early Cistercians and was named a doctor of the church in 1830. The central elements of Bernard's Mariology are how he explained the virginity of Mary, the star of the sea, and her role as mediatrix. In August 2008, during his weekly general audience, Pope Benedict XVI spoke of Saint Bernard of Clairvaux and his devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. He was also remembered as a doctor of Mariology, not because he wrote extensively on Our Lady, but because he understood her essential role in the church, presenting her as the perfect model of the monastic life and of every other form of the Christian life. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.